Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the summary for the day of 18, oh sorry, for the day of 268 to 269 for the 18th and 19th of November. Let's start off with uh, a very significant news. Uh, the Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shimihal has announced that half of Ukraine's energy system is out of order. Basically, the Russian airstrikes and missile strikes has taken out half of the power grid. So, pretty significant as uh, winter has arrived and uh, snow has already been sighted in multiple fronts already. So, uh, this is going to create a lot of problems. And um, this has accumulated to a protest in Odessa where uh, there are surprisingly protests for the first time I have seen uh, in a long time in Ukraine where the people has been blocking the roads after having no electricity for four days uh, which is kind of uh, unrealistic uh, or rather you know they are having too good life not knowing you know what are the other Ukrainians uh, going through in perhaps you know Kherson or Mykolaiv you know where they have way more shortage of power or experience more power outage for much longer like for example in Kharkiv so uh the so the 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 protest currently is still uh, ongoing i think and uh they they are complaining because uh in leaf they have electricity but you no know, odessa they do not have so they're kind of like you know unhappy about that so uh that's moving on to the no before we go to the front uh there is this incident uh over at uh, Novorossiysk, uh, which is in, which in, in Russia, there is this uh, alleged uh, naval drone strike on the Sheskari's uh, oil harbor. So, at this harbor region, uh, uh, allegedly there's a naval drone strike, uh, trying to you know maybe cause some problem with uh, with the oil transports or whatever. So, uh, the of the Russian uh, state media TASS denies this ever happened so no no idea exactly whether this actually happens or not uh over at the Kherson front uh there is nothing happening uh no no amphibious assault nothing happened and uh, over at the Zaporizhia line similarly uh other than reports on uh accumulation of troops at the front by the Ukrainian side uh there isn't really much other no uh, active ground offensive happening except for no exchange in artillery uh bombardments and over the Donetsk front uh, the Ukrainians have launched another uh, counter-offensive this time round uh, against Pelivka, Volodymyrivka uh, as well as Solotke. This is reported by the Russian Defense Ministry and the Russians themselves uh, attack uh, Novo Mihailivka. And uh, moving on to the Pisky region, uh, the Russian Defense Ministry on the 18th uh, or rather on the 19th uh, officially announced uh, that they have captured uh, Opaine. So first we have the pro-Russian sources declaring the capture of Opaine. Then we have the Ukrainian sources conceding that Opaine has been lost. And then now we have the Russian Defense Ministry uh, announcing officially that they have captured Opaine. Uh, fighting continues over at Nivelsky on the 18th and uh, Vodian as well as Povomaisky. So Vodian and Povomaisky's uh, reports coming from the Ukraine Defense Ministry, whereas the one uh, the detailed reports on the fighting at Nevelsky is by uh, Military Chronicles. So I'm not going to go through the story. Uh, moving on to the Bakhmut front. At the Bakhmut front, fighting is reported at Zolono Pilia, and uh, there is fighting at Klishivka on both days on the 18th and the 19th. Uh, the one at Zolono Pilia is only reported on the 18th. And uh, there is fighting reporter at Opaine, south of Bakhmut city. And uh, uh, there is fighting reporter at Bakhmut, uh, according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. Uh, not clear where exactly, but based on our uh, past reports, the fighting is mostly in the south, uh, southeastern part of Bakhmut. There is a rumor saying that uh, this, this facility here has been captured by the Russian forces, uh, the Wagner Group. Uh, currently, I'm not sure. I, so you know i haven't really seen this from the pro-russian sources yet so uh i'm just, just going to leave it at this at it is for the moment uh there is finding reported at bakhmut skate so that's all over at the bakhmut front uh the russian uh, offensive is still ongoing uh 
wrong color. Uh, fighting continues at below Horivka. The Russians continue to try to push and take over this position. And uh, there is fighting reported at Sperne, Vulcan uh, Okanyamske, as well as at below Horivka uh, in the Luhansk region. Uh, the Russians uh, continue to push in the entire of the Eastern Front, which is the Sivas and the Bakhmut Front combined. This is the Eastern Front. Uh, no, no signs of the Russians are uh, going to stop just anytime yet. And uh, moving on to the Crimea Front, the Ukrainians uh, re restarted or rather, you know, continues their their offensive towards Shevardnadze Popivka. And uh, this reported by the Russian Defense Ministry on both days, on the 18 and the 19. And uh, on the 19 as well, there is report of uh, attack towards Ploshanka. And uh, so, you know, that's all from the Crimea front. Uh, it doesn't seem like the Russians are doing their counter-offensive just yet. They are, uh, they are still in the defensive posture against the Ukrainian uh, offensive. Uh, moving on to the Sviatove Kupians front, uh, the... Ukrainians continue their relentless push for Kuzemivka as well as there is fighting reporter at Novo uh, The There is also fighting reporter at uh, Kromane, according to the Russian Defense Ministry, and uh, at Yahine and Kaislivka. So the Ukrainians continue to push in this area, and uh, interestingly, we have fighting reporter at Pershaw's Trasneve, which was not, uh, have not seen action for a very long time. So uh, usually, if you have been following, you you would know that this area. You no, know, I always say the Kupians run. There's no updates, uh, for the past week or at least. Uh, so now the fighting at the Kupians region uh, have flared up again, at Kaislivka, Yahidne, and uh, Pershot Trif Navy. So uh, that's all for the summary for the day of uh, 268 and 269 for the 18th and 19th of November, and uh. So do check out the description below for you know, all the links to all the different uh, communities in the DPA community uh, uh, from from Telegram to Discord you know, to Patreon. And um, anyway, I'll see you in the next update.